Hi and welcome to this new video and this is lesson three of the flight training for beginners series and in this video we're going to talk about different flight modes so we're going to take a look at angle mode horizon mode and rate mode and we're just going to look at what the differences between those are and we're also going to talk about how you can tune your quad a little bit to make sure that when you do fly rate mode you can get it set up how it suits you because although I've calmed the quad down quite a lot you may want to calm it down more or you may want to make it a little bit more sensitive and I'm just going to show you how you do that for rate mode because in the next video we're going to do some flying in rate mode through some pylons and through some gates and knowing how to just tune your quad a little bit will be very useful for that next video so we're just going to have a single player continue here and then we're going to go back to empty scene day and we're going to set this one to any class turn off favorites and I'm just going to go down to the pylons track which is where we were before press R to reset itself onto the start grid so we've been here before and I'm just going to show you the difference between the different modes now. So at the moment we're in rate mode. I'm just going to switch this to angle mode. And we're going to take off. And I'm going to push, turn on my sticks with the M key. And I'm just going to push the stick all the way to the right. And we can see that it's angling over quite a long way because I had set it to angle over quite a long way. But I can't roll the quad. It won't turn upside down. And the same with pushing forwards. I can push forwards, but I can't turn the quad upside down. I can't do a backflip. It's always restricting me to my maximum angle. So if we go to advanced strand setup, you can see that here. This is the angle limit. So this is 70 degrees this is set to. So if I drop this down and make this 45 degrees, for example and save it and go back back again and now I take off you can see I can get you can see that looks like about 45 degrees now so now I've got 45 degrees of bank and I can tip forwards 45 degrees and I can tip back 45 degrees now interestingly it looks more so one thing to bear in mind is when I tip forwards it doesn't look like 45 degrees and that's because my camera is pointing 20 degrees up. So actually when you tip forwards, it looks like 25 degrees. And when you tip back, it looks like 65 degrees. Because there's 20 degrees of camera angle to add. Or take away, depending on whether you're pitching forwards or whether you're pitching back. So that's angle mode. So now let's switch to horizon mode. I'm just going to go back into advanced drone setup here and this is horizon and you can see in horizon mode you have a strength so we're going to drop this down to 20 so it's the same as angle mode and you have a transition now what this transition is 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 it's an angle in degrees so 100 degrees and what this means is that when your quad gets to 100 degrees of bank angle it will switch to rate mode and allow you to actually fly like you're in rate mode and then when you come back to below 100 degrees of either roll or pitch angle it'll go back into angle mode so what this will let you do is just click save and go back so now I can still self level as you can see here it's still happy to self level but there's no angle limit anymore so it's not going to limit me to an angle so if I go up higher now and I push the stick right over I can do a complete roll but I've still got as you can see if I bank and I let go and I bank and let go as long as I stay below 100 degrees it will self level but the moment I go beyond 100 degrees it will actually allow me to completely flip over or completely roll over so this is kind of a mix between angle mode and rate mode so now let's switch to rate mode and in rate mode 
we now don't have any self-leveling at all so in rate mode if I roll it will just roll all the way around if I bank and let go it will just stay there if I bank and let go it will stay there if I pitch and let go it will stay there if I pitch back and let go it will stay there you can see it always just stays wherever you put it and the same for your the your will just stop wherever you put it so that's rate mode so in rate mode you have to fly the quad completely it's not going to self level for you it's not going to save you you can't just let go of the sticks and the quad will sort itself out it's up to you to level the quad out it's up to you to ensure you're not tilted too far forwards or too too far back you know you have to control the quad all the time in rate mode now if you remember back to lesson one we made some changes in beta flight so if you go to advanced drone setup again we had this max velocity setting here and this changes how fast the quad will either roll or pitch or yaw so this is your roll act settings all the way across here this is your pitch settings all the way across here and this is your yaw settings all the way across here and this max velocity at the end here is degrees per second so for roll pitch and yaw i have a maximum velocity of 400 degrees per second which is reasonably fast if we go back and i take off again and i roll at full stick you'll see it's reasonably quick more than once a second slightly more than once a second if we go back in here we can reduce our rate here even more so we can bring this down let's bring it down to say 200 there so all the way down same here all the way down and the same here all the way down and by the way down here you can see a graph of your stick movement so if you move your stick so this is me moving my roll stick which is red and you can see how that control input goes in you can see at, at, it's at this with the settings I've got at the moment it's almost a just straight 45 degree line so it's very linear and change depending on how you change these fields and RC rate and rate tend to be the ones that most people play around with will change the shape of this curve so you can have it kind of flatter in the middle and then ramping up as you get towards the edge of your stick which gives you sort of less control sensitivity towards the middle of the stick and then more control sensitivity as you get towards the edge well we'll come back to that so if we come out of here and I take off now and do a full roll you'll see it's really quite slow I actually slowed it down quite a lot but it's still quite sensitive in the middle not as sensitive as it was at 400 but it's still quite sensitive in the middle and that's because of that slope that we were just looking at so what we can do is we can go back into advanced drone setup here and we'll put the rate back up And you can see as I put this rate back up you can see that you get this flattening out in the middle and then more movement towards the edge so you can play around with these settings if you play with RC rates if I bring RC rate down you can see that it's flattening out more in the middle now so if I was to go like that and then put the rate up here like this go back to 400 so if I've got 0.5 here now and 0.75 here you can see that you've got less sensitivity around center stick so you can make bigger movements here now and have less effect but it's going to get more sensitive towards the edge so you know I've got less sensitivity here in the middle and and more sensitivity you see it moves much more quickly towards 400 degrees a second as I get towards the edge of, of my stick movement. See that bit there moves much more quickly. And this bit in the middle moves less quickly because it's been flattened off. So if I was to set this to 0 0.5 
and 0.75. Let's just type these in. 0.75. 0, 0 0.75. And put 0.5 in here. There we go. So now we've got our 400 degrees a second still. So we're still as fast at full stick. But we're much less sensitive in the middle of the stick range. Where we're doing most of our gentle flying at the moment. So if I now go back in here and I take off, you can see that the quad is way less sensitive around this middle part of the stick now. So I've got much less sensitivity in this section. But when I go out to the edge, it suddenly speeds up. So for large control movements, it speeds up quite quickly. But in the middle, it's dampened down. And adjusting your rates like this is a very sensitive, it's a personal thing, it's, a, it's something that you set up the way you like it. And I'm just showing you a kind of a quick overview of how you can play around with this because you may want to change this to suit you. You might think that the original 400 degrees the second that we set up in the way we set it up was a bit sensitive for you and the quads a little hard to control so hopefully this video gives you that opportunity to tune your rates a little bit more to your liking and set it up a little bit more so that you've got some more control so you're not over controlling the quad and as i say that's up to you it's very much personal preference there's no right answer here it's just what feels good to you and you will adjust your rates as you get better as a pilot and you'll find that you want more stick sensitivity as you get faster in order to make you know, quicker movements and quicker turns. But when you're a beginner, you tend to want things calmed down and, and very slow. Uh, and that's why I've just gone through, through and shown you how you can do that. OK, so that's covered the different modes. Angle, which is full self-leveling. Horizon, which is partial self-leveling, but beyond a certain degree it will allow you to fully roll or fully flip and then rate mode which is you controlling everything there's no self leveling at all and the quad effectively heading holds wherever you put the axes of the quad they will just stay there when you let go of the sticks and then the last thing we covered was how to adjust your rates to meet your personal preferences okay so that's it for this video and i'll see you on the next one